Um, <clears throat> now you you answered the fucking question I was gonna have, which is I, I always ask opener and closer. You write it to be that, or you know you shuffle around. So instead, the rest of the record, how did you guys go about sequencing that? Was it purely based off vibes? Did you have an idea? Talk a little bit about that. <clears throat> That is a good question. I think that for like First Light, for example, we knew that that was going to be, um, we knew that First Light was going to be the second one. I think just coming out of Hellscape, like it coming into that, like it kind of hits you right off the bat. It's a good one just to like follow up. It's it's also quicker. It's about like three and a half minutes. Um, it kind of just felt like song number two. Um, we knew that Evergreen was going to be fifth, even when we wrote it, because, um, wait, do you guys know, like, the anything from the first record at all? To be honest, no. Yeah. Okay. This no was words. our introduction. Yeah. I, yeah. So, Evergreen is actually the lyrical sequel to a song on the first album. Oh, love when bands do that shit. do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that song on the first record is called 1018. Yeah. Um, it's one of, we had, like, two ballad esque type songs on mm -hmm. on on the first record um one of them 1018 that's what evergreen is actually the 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 sequel for and then evergreen's kind of like the only ballad ish type song we have on this record but it's it's heavier than both of the other ones um so we knowing that it was kind of the only one in that the last song sounds like it does mm -hmm. we kind of felt like okay number five and number 10 yeah you know like kind of like halfway point final point everything else in between is kind of you know a little bit more chaotic heavier whatever so um so yeah so we knew evergreen was going to be there um then we kind of just looked at it in terms of like what are the songs we want on the first half of the record what do we want on the second half of the record um rusted crown intentionally was put second to last we kind of like to put something that brings the energy level up again right before the end mm -hmm. um yeah and then from there we kind of just massaged around the, the first half and the second half we're also huge vinyl nerds so we did look at it as like side a and side b yeah, yeah right you know so we were like all right song six starts side b what's like the second opener kind mm -hmm. of yeah. right we also looked at it that way there's a lot of different ways that we did it. it got like i got super analytical about it but then at the same time pulled back and be like all right we're gonna listen to this and see if it flows fortunately compared to the first record we we kind of track uh we we track listed that a few times and went through a couple iterations of like listening to it all the way through this one we we had a theoretical like we think this would be dope we listened yeah. to it the first time and we we're like cool that's it we only track listed it once and it ended up being like how we wanted it so hell yeah that's fucking that's sick so fucking rare i yeah. uh yeah i do love I that uh i did not want to do it again no <laughs> i don't blame you i do love you know when a band puts so much thought into the track list mm -hmm. because it is like a dying art in the sense of like you know they're streaming and playlisting and singles and everything's a single and all that right. fucking shit and you got to catch people's attention within the first three songs and it's like now it's just front it's like front loading the fucking record like you yep. would for a cd for the, with the vinyl or, or with the streaming now um so yep. it is refreshing to see what to hear when bands uh you know geek out over the track list because you know we asked the question we're obviously interested in in hearing about that process so it's always good when a band is like like, fuck yeah man we were so analytical about it like that yeah makes me like oh, my heart sing we do that a lot because joe and i are also the kind kind of people where like we just remember being fans of music but like just you know before we were ever signed and kind of just looking at other bands and being like fuck we want to do that um and so we've tried as much as we can to kind of bring that same energy of like being fans of music mm -hmm. knowing what we love to see right knowing like the things that bands used to do that we really really liked and part of it is also because it's like man I, I that would be so cool if we get to the point where we're the ones who are able to do that so we're trying to like remember those things and not lose those and keep doing that mm -hmm. so yeah we love that shit oh yeah oh yeah, Hell yeah. Keep, keeping the spirit alive is is what will keep the train going you know because the music oh, yeah. industry i'm sure you know fucking blows so keep it oh, keep the spirit know. alive it's fun 